Uh, we're back. <laughs> Much happier video this time. Yeah, last video we learned that Taylor can't give her kidney to our son. And if, you've, if you're new here, our son was born in kidney failure and we've had all this stuff going on for yeah. a year and a half. He's on dialysis and he is a year and a half old. So very young to have a kidney issue. He is moving closer to getting a kidney transplant. And yes. so... And we went through this whole process with her. They said she was approved and then randomly said she wasn't. Um, like four months later. So. Four months later, yeah. But where does that leave us now? We've, We've been blown away. <laughs> yeah. Since posting on Instagram and on YouTube that we're looking for a kidney, we've had plus or minus 15 mm -hmm. people go through the screening process. And we don't get to know who moves on or who they pick um, mm -hmm. just because of the law, HIPAA. HIPAA, I'm all assuming. sorts of medical yeah. privacy things. And they're only going to test one at a time. Mm -hmm. And so there's somebody who has moved on through the process and they'll go through until either they get denied or get approved and we kind of find out at the end. So Unless that person tells us. Unless that person tells us. Yeah. So it's very much like a different process than when I was going through it. But just the the support of those people and the support of everybody who has contributed financially to our family. Or yeah, seriously. In other ways, it's been very overwhelming, very humbling. Um, I'm really thankful just for the community of people that we have helping us fight this battle. But yeah, where do we go from here? Kind of like what we said, that whoever that person is is going to be tested until we hopefully find him a living donor match. And if we don't, if no one's a match, mm -hmm. then uh, well, we'll keep posting about it mm -hmm. and see we've got some people that were denied for reasons that can be fixed. Yeah. So they, they might have another opportunity or just new people that we come across. Mm -hmm. But if all that fails, there is the deceased donor out, which is still good. It's they, still, yeah. they have expressed to us many times that there's nothing wrong with getting a deceased donor. Like, it's, mm -hmm. it's still going to last, you know. Like, it's, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Some some research says that it lasts, like, a few years less. Some people say it's the exact same thing. Yeah, so, you'll hear conflicting things about that. Yeah, but uh, they say the biggest thing is the whole, like, they compare it to like labor and yeah, C-section. Yeah, C-section. So whereas like you would go to have a baby when your body went to have a baby versus a scheduled C-section where it's planned and you can kind of make all of those details planned out for everybody involved. So if we do end up going the deceased donor route, basically we'll get a call and we rush to the hospital as fast as we can get there mm -hmm. and then they'll decide if that kidney is for him. And so there are, yeah. we've heard of families that get the call and they get there and it's not right so then they come back home. Yeah, well, because so, they'll call you if... Like, say you're fourth on the list. Mm -hmm. They'll call you in anyways. Because mm -hmm. if they go... Because right as you get there, they're doing quick tests, like blood work. If you got yeah, anything, anything's if you have any sicknesses, then you get passed up. Because you're not ready to receive one. But they don't want the kidney to go to waste, so then it gets passed on. So mm -hmm. sometimes the fourth person there does get it. Does get it. But a lot of the times it's like, oh, they got it. Okay, go home. Yeah, so it's kind of a crazy process, and there's no guarantee on the timeline of that, which is the other hard part about it. That being said, Sullivan is kind of at the top of the waiting list in a lot of ways. They do it by age, so children are going to get kidneys before adults. And then based on how long you've been on dialysis, and to find a one-year-old who's been on dialysis for almost a year, it's pretty rare. <laughs> so it does, I mean, that is definitely an option for us if we cannot find him a living donor. We meet with the transplant team again in October, and they'll, they, we have like these every three month check-ins at this point where they'll either sign off and say, yes, he's good to go, or no, and here's the goal that we need to get to. So right now the goal we were given was another 10 centimeters of growth. Realistically, I don't think he's going to be there by October. No. Um, he's... Maybe next October. <laughs> yeah, I think he's gained like one or two centimeters. So we'll, yeah. we're just kind of waiting to see on that route. But yeah. he's doing really well. Still in yeah. dialysis. Almost walking now, which is really exciting. Yeah, I think the whole food or real food blends has helped him a lot. Yeah. He's been able to... Like his phosphorus finally came up, which that was the first time he's had normal <laughs> phosphorus. phosphorus. And I think that cleared up his mind a little because he is insane. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's feeling really good right now. So yeah. that's encouraging to see. And he's throwing up way less um mm -hmm. we're all sleeping through the night now finally yep. unless there's a dialysis alarm which there kind of always is but like we can yeah. he's definitely sleeping through he's the night. sleeping through the night yeah. he's not throwing up so all in all things are going well um we are super excited for the transplant when it comes knowing that it's kind of that last sprint up the mountain so it'll be hard when it gets here but it's kind of like how we get to go back 
down to a little bit easier of a lifestyle for a while. So yep. thank you for your prayers. Um, keep praying. <laughs> we, we still need them. Um, and we'll update you guys as we know more. But for now, we'll probably focus on some vlogs, showing you guys what our life looks like with the kiddo on kidney disease. But with kidney disease, not on kidney disease. Yeah. God is good. <laughs> all the time. And all the time. God is good. Even these outros. <laughs>